In the luxury market, many buyers ask architects to design them homes that have it all. But when those same architects design homes for themselves, the results are usually simple, sophisticated structures that merely look expensive. In Portland, Oregon, Tim Eddy recently moved into a sleek new house he designed for his family. Details include massive triple glazed windows, walnut stairs, and a solar heated swimming pool. The same house would cost about $450 to $600 per square foot to build for his clients, but Mr. Eddy says he spent quite a bit less. He saved thousands of dollars in architectural design fees and trade discounts. For his home in Portland, Oregon, architect Jeff Stern focused on creating two box-shaped structures for $190 a square foot. The key was focusing on what was important and resisting the temptation to make the house bigger. He kept it to 1,900 square feet. His big splurge was on windows, so he found savings in less expensive materials in other places, concrete floors, fur cabinetry, and plastic laminate countertops. In upstate New York, Stephen Harris and his husband took their time when constructing their vacation home on 50 acres. First, they spent $150,000 to build a very simple 500 square foot house with one big living room and a small bedroom in the basement. Three years ago, they finished a second house, which is the same size but twice as expensive as the first, and connected them with an underground tunnel. A number of extras, a full kitchen, two separate bedrooms, and huge sliding glass pocket doors made the second house more expensive, but to them worth it. When architects design their own homes, they can get about 30% off big items like light fixtures, windows, and doors, and about 10% off lumber. But most importantly, Mr. Eddy says, is keeping the design simple and prioritizing.